making life worth living in a retirement worth having is about acquiring mail. Because our mail that comes to us is both professional and personal. It is both legal and intimate. And what I mean by that is that we might be getting love letters in the mail, but how do we prove that the love letters we're getting are from the individual that we hope we're getting love letters from? And also, how do we prove that any love letters we're getting that we don't want is actually from the individual that we think they're from? So that's the first part. The second part is we, of course, legally have to get our bills. And if we're not electronically paying bills online because we want to make doubly sure that we're not getting gouged at the bank or that someone is charging our uh, bank accounts for their shopping sprees, we literally get our bank account information mailed to the house. The disadvantage of getting it online is that literally it puts us at risk to anybody who can hack our computer and look at our files while we're on our files. And that's something we really have to think about today. But openly, I'm talking about the real deal. Can you walk into the bank and not present any federal ID with your photo, ID with your photo on it and get a copy of your legal records? Now, I encourage you to try this at a branch that you don't go to regularly. The local branch people kind of pride themselves on recognizing people who are a part of their accounting. But federally, we can take our banking information and get our money out from just about any national aspect of that literal bank. And that's what I'm encouraging you to try to do. Don't use the ATM. Walk in and say, I'd like to make a withdrawal. See how it goes. If you get the money without showing an ID, that might mean that we're not really getting protected at the bank. If there's someone like the teacher's credit union, there might actually be a photograph in front of them. But other banks, when I've asked the question, insist they don't have a photo recognition system. And if that's the case, that means there's no photo on the computer in front of them that matches up to your mug standing in front of them at the window. So that's something we want to think about. Is our banking information totally safe? I've had my tax records for the past 10 years and my bank records for the past 10 years and my personal records in banking completely stolen from my life. It's as though someone's trying to pretend to be me in order to perpetrate a crime of illegally getting information about me or selling my information or just violating the law and pretending to be me so they can be here legally. Thanks for listening. This is Blake Jensen of Blaze Communications LLC saying make it a safe day for your legal documentation of your life.